Hey guys, welcome back to The Surge 2. This is a guide on how to beat the Delver for the first time and also how to do it the right way so that you get his V2 boss weapon, the Helix of the Delver. In this guide we'll cover the best weapon choices to beat the Delver, my recommended armor for this fight, the tactics for each of the three phases during the fight, and finally what to do to get the upgraded version of the boss weapon, the Helix of the Delver V2. At the end of the video there will be some raw footage including the sound of the entire fight so you can see the whole thing in action. I'll leave some timestamps in the description so that you can easily skip to the section you want. Very quickly before we start, please do me a big favour and leave a like and comment if you think the video is useful. I'm a tiny channel at this stage so it would make a massive difference in YouTube's eyes if I get a lot of engagement with the video. Thanks very much for being with me. Okay, let's get started. Okay, first off, weapon choice. Uh, I chose two weapons for this fight after a lot of experimenting. For the first two phases of the boss fight, I used a heavy duty weapon, specifically codenamed Moonlight. It can be found in the later stages of downtown Jericho. The reason for this is that a lot of the fight is actually about patience, timing and very short damage phases, where it's really important to put as much damage as you can over a very short space of time, in particular if you can pull off a parry. So for the second weapon I chose, it was actually a spear, specifically the Gaia Lancer, which can be found from the statue robots in Gideon's Rock. The reason I wanted a spear was actually for phase three of the fight. The damage you receive in the third phase is huge, and unless your parry timings are perfect, you're likely to die from one or two hits, especially when you combine this with the nano damage which stacks up. The spear allows for decent damage, but also has very, very good stamina conservation so that you can jump in and out of combat and jump out of range when the boss starts his attacks. Next up is armor choice. This lines up with the weapon choice to an extent, and you'll see why. I used a combination of the Rhino armor set and the Vulture armor set. The Rhino gear is Goliath armor, so it offers the best damage resistance by default. It also has a partial set bonus, which increases the damage of his charge attacks, which is perfect for this fight. Guys, seriously, check out the damage numbers on this. Okay, so there'll be a link to a video up above which shows where to find the Rhino gear and a really easy way to find yourself a full armor set. The other partial set that I used was based on the Vulture armor set, which actually just gives you bonus tech scrap. This is awesome if you manage to beat the Delver, but if you are struggling with the fight, then you can always revert to the full Rhino set, which is the Goliath set, and it'll give you the extra damage resist. So, moving on to the fight itself, phase one. This phase is mostly about standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss, getting your timing right and parrying his attacks. You'll need to score three parries in total to stun him. As soon as he's stunned, you want to unload with your heavy duty weapon. Really get that damage in. During this phase, he also has a habit of burrowing into the ground. If he does this, then you just want to keep moving around the arena. He'll pop out of the ground every now and then to attempt some damage. He'll do this twice, and then eventually he'll do a leaping attack to re-engage with you in the fight. Once he's finished doing this, you just go back to the parry tactic. All you need to do is get right up in his face, practice your parry timings, and put the damage in. Moving on to phase two, this section of the fight is about a combination of things. Standing toe to toe again with the boss when possible, dodging his charging attacks and trying to stay out of his ranged attacks. Stick with your heavy duty weapon again. This should help you break the armor on his front legs which will help you stun him later in the fight. As soon as the boss changes into his second form, you want to do a charged attack on him. Target one of the front legs, you'll have time to get in a really good hit before he's ready to attack you. Then get ready to parry. The boss is likely to only attempt one or two hits on you at a time, but his attacks are a lot quicker here. If you manage to parry him three times at any point during this fight, he'll fall down and you can get a really good charge attack on him. If you hit, then the chances are you'll stun him again and you can get a second one in. His charge attack is pretty annoying, but easily dodged if you get your timing right. Just sidestep as he charges in and then try to close the distance on him again to get back into the parry phase. If you can't close the distance in time, he will probably charge you again. 
The range attack section isn't actually that difficult, although it is a little disorienting at first. When he flies to each area of the ceiling, just keep moving so that you can avoid the nano attacks he fires at you. After moving three times, he'll land back on the ground and he'll be vulnerable for a few seconds. If you get your timing just right, you can get a really good attack on him and then back away again. You can see here, I managed to charge the attack and it stunned him and I managed to pull off a second one just before he was ready to hit me again. Again, try to make sure that you break those two armor pieces on his front legs. If you do manage to do it, then when you get a charge attack on him in the rest of the fight, it will stun him, which means you get an extra damage window, you can get some extra damage in. Okay, phase three. So when the boss changes into his final form, you'll have the opportunity to get some free damage. I took the opportunity here to break both his leg armor pieces at this point and then back away. I used the heavy duty for this section of the fight just to quickly break the armor and then I switched to the spear so that I could conserve my stamina for the rest of the fight. During this phase, he has a number of damage types. First of all, he'll be putting nano damage all over the floor. You want to stay out of that as much as possible. If you get close, then he will do large sweeping attacks with his claws. And in order to parry him, you need to parry five times during the fight. So my advice, unless your timing is brilliant, is just to stay back. He hits very hard. He occasionally does a strange charge attack where he literally throws himself at you. This is your best opportunity to get some damage in. Just leap out of the way and then re-engage while he's vulnerable. So how do you get the V2 version of the boss weapon to drop? Okay, so basically you just need to break each one of his armor pieces once. If you follow the advice in the video, you should get the weapon. I made sure to break both of the front legs in phase two of the fight and then break both the arms and the legs during phase three of the fight. Note, the boss does regrow his arm armor during the third phase of the fight, but as long as you have broken each piece once before you finish him off, it shouldn't matter. Hope you found the video useful, guys. Please remember to like and leave me a comment if you if you did. Uh, it'll really help me out if, if you do that. Um, stick around for a few minutes if you want to see the raw footage of the fight with the sound. You'll see me finally take the Delver down and uh, get the Helix V2.0. Thanks again for joining me. See you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye now. Okay, so the new tactic is use the big heavy duty for the first two phases of the fight and then switch to the spear for the last phase. The uh, reason for that is I want to save on on stamina. I need more. I'm, I'm not tough enough to kind of stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. right for the parries on the last phase. Feeling slightly impatient after so many attempts at this. It's making me more reckless. But she's not helping, she matters one little bit.
again, and again, and again, and again. Let's go. Back away. Well here, actually, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna make it through this phase of the fight. By the way, it looks a bit. Your legs broke. You're welcome. Right, I'm gonna switch to the spear. We'll see if I can just keep the stamina up. Well, I think I pissed it off you now. Yeah, that didn't quite well. I prefer to dodge those, I think. Got him! Ha ha ha! Got him! Sweet. Oh, I got the V2! 